All right, welcome back. Um, so you just saw the video, uh, the completed RD14 working in the wet sand, uh, working quite well. Um, we can see the drive wheel with the thin spokes that I've uh, made so that they can pierce through the sand buildup um, on the track. Uh, most of the thin spokes have broken off. Um, it still works uh, because the second half, uh, you know, is a bit more sturdy. Um, but uh, yeah, clearly not ideal. So I came up with a new design. Uh, so half as many spokes, uh, more gaps in between. So it's not as round as the old one. Uh, but on the plus side, uh, the sand just falls through. So uh, that seems to be working quite well. Um, I've created a, a new variant of this, uh, a little bit easier to print, a little bit more sturdy where it counts so that I can run a um, nice track tension. Uh, so I'm going to put that onto the other side and uh, yeah, then we'll see. Um, iterate towards the, the best driveway solution. Uh, I changed the tilt actuator speed. I think I went up from 100 RPM to 500 RPM. So a lot faster, a lot more controllable while you're actually moving. Um, and yeah, I'm uh, quite happy with that. Um, my traditional uh, cabin and bonnet uh, with the uh, company colors and then underneath so I have these little uh, screws that uh, go through holes uh, in the chassis uh, works quite well in the front I have a nose uh, where that basically clips in um, so again uh, that worked pretty well uh, current version 850 milliamp hours I think with a little bit of refinement, I might be able to do a uh, thousand milliamp hours. Um, uh, I was able to drive 45 minutes on a half empty battery. So uh, quite happy with the uh, efficiency of the, the motors and the drives. And then, yeah, uh, as shown in my previous video, I managed to uh, uh, save a lot of uh, cabling. Um, I had to print out this black extra layer uh, in the final version that will all be integrated into the chassis um, to make it a little bit neater. And then in the front sections here, these are these used to be hollow, um, but they are now full of uh, metal ball bearings um, uh, that you can uh, buy. And then also there is a small compartment in, in the chassis that uh, has that as well. So that means I can't easily um, turn it over. I will fill that with PVA glue so that it stays where it is. Um, but the last change I did was I went from a, a quite sophisticated, statically determined um, equalizer beam to a standard beam uh, uh, with just uh, two ball heads. And uh, yeah, again, a lot easier, actually quite a bit sturdier as well. So uh, yeah, the final version is going to uh, have that as well. And yeah, uh, so very happy with the, the drive and the progress. And uh, yeah, um, uh, hope to see you next time. Thank you.